at noon, a woman who was a pioneer for women's rights right here in South Florida has passed away. Local 10 News anchor Lori Jennings has a look back at Roxy Bolton's life. Roxy Bolton was a woman who could not be intimidated or ignored. She faced down politicians and police departments in the name of women's rights. I think about the rape treatment center, the first in the country, and when we marched down Flagler Street, I went to get the permit at the Miami police station, and my, did, oh, did they laugh. But no one can laugh at her accomplishments. From her home in Coral Gables, Roxy raised three children and a community's consciousness. It was the best of times here and the worst of times. Over three decades, Roxy founded the Dade Chapter of NOW, the Rape Crisis Treatment Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Miami Women in Distress, FIU's Institute for Women, and Dade County Crime Watch. In 1990, she came out of self-imposed retirement to fight for women who were fired from Howard Johnson's. I will go before every group that I can speak to. I will do everything that I have to do to ask the people of this community to boycott Howard Johnson's. Two decades earlier, Roxy demanded that a local department store open its men-only dining room to women. In typical Roxy fashion, she was about as subtle as a South Florida summer storm. I remember Mr. Rubin at Jordan Marsh saying to me, Mrs. Bolton, how can you do this to Jordan Marsh and I don't want this in the Miami Herald? And I said, well, why are you so opposed to women eating with men? Oh, and he was and swallowing here, you know, when somebody's got a problem, they start swallowing. And I said, well, Mr. Rubin, men and women sleep together. Why can't they eat together? She was honored in August 1999 when her home was designated a historical landmark, receiving the first state marker ever placed on private property. Roxy, then 73, reflected on what her life had been and left us with a thought that is truly Roxy. I'm 73. And as the tide ebbs, we always reflect. We want to make everything right. I want to be a better person. Have no regrets. Trust me, no regrets. I did it my way. And that was Lori Jennings reporting for us. Roxy Bolton led the effort to create yet another first for Florida. Women's Park was established in Miami-Dade County in 1992 as a tribute to past and present female leaders here in South Florida. What an inspiration, huh? Absolutely. Oh.